standbys are about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for standing by and welcome to the UFC 139 conference call. Today's call is being recorded. At this time, I would like to turn things over to Mr. Dave Schnaller. Please go ahead, sir. All right, thanks, Dave, and good morning and good afternoon to everyone joining the UFC 139 media call. Today we are joined on the call by Mauricio Shogun Hua, which will be translated by Eduardo Alonso, Dan Henderson, Vanderlei Silva, and Kung Lee. UFC 139 Shogun vs. Hendo takes place this Saturday night from the HP Pavilion in San Jose, California. It will be live on pay-per-view at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. At this time, Abe, let's go ahead and open it up for questions. All right, certainly. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to queue up to ask a question at this time, please just press star, then one, on your touchstone telephone keypad. Again, that's star one if you'd like to queue up to ask a question at this time, and we will pause for a moment to assemble our roster. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, that's star one to queue up to ask a question. I feel like 
like I got a lot, a lot of fight left in me, and, and and I come with a game plan for every uh, every opponent, every fight. So you know, it's uh, I'm excited about uh, fighting Showdown. It, it's something I think the fans have been looking forward to uh, for a long time, and, and wanting for a long time. And, and he's a tough opponent and well-rounded, and definitely a huge challenge for me to uh, get past. Okay, thank you. Good luck. No thank you very much, Ken. We'll, we'll go to David Martin with MMAweekly.com. Oh, yeah, first question is for Shogun. Uh, you know, Shogun, you had a great showing in your last fight, uh, and you bounced back strong from the loss to John Jones. But what's the, you know, do you feel like your activity, staying busy, is, is a big part of, of your performance, you know, not dealing with the injuries you had for so long in your UFC career? Maurício, pergunta para você, você teve uma grande performance na última luta contra o Forrest Griffin, se recuperando bem da luta contra o John Jones. Você acredita que se mantém a atividade de lutar frequentemente é uma chave para você se recuperar dessas lesões e estar tá sempre no ritmo bom e estar tá numa boa performance? Acho que com certeza, acho que minhas lesões estou em quase 100% já e para um atleta não é duro, é duro ficar um ano parado, né? Então... Eu gosto de lutar direto, a cada três, quatro meses, eu gosto de estar lutando, então, na minha boca, eu fico segurando o ritmo da luta e bem treinado. Então, pra mim é perfeito isso e eu gostaria de manter isso sempre. Sim, yes, for sure. I think uh, I'm 100% recovered, for, recovered from my injuries. And uh, for a fighter, it's very tough to stay sideline for one year without competing. Uh, as a fighter, I like to stay active and stay busy and uh, fight often and um, keep the rhythm. And, uh, Thank God I'm recovering from my injuries, so I hope to be able to keep this uh, rhythm going on and, and keep fighting inactive like that for a long time. Do you believe, you know, also for Shogun, I mean, is there a certain statement to be made in this fight to put you back into the title picture? I mean, a lot of people look at this as maybe a number one contender's fight. I know you'd like another shot at John Jones. Is, this, is there a statement to be made in this fight? Você acredita, Maurício, que essa luta você precisa fazer um, um vamos dizer assim, deixar um marco, provar alguma coisa, vai ser, dar um recado, vamos dizer assim, porque é, todo mundo sabe que você quer disputar o cinturão de novo, ter uma chance de lutar com o Jones de novo, essa luta pode credenciar disputar o cinturão de novo, você acha que é uma luta marcante, onde você tem que e deve deixar uma marca para voltar e a chance de disputar o cinturão? Não, acho que com certeza é uma luta marcante, sim, o Daniel é um do MMA, é um cara que por exemplo, no Pride, no UFC, é um cara que tem uma história do, do, do MMA. Então, pra mim, é, é, é uma luta muito marcante, sim. É uma luta que, que representa muita coisa pra mim. É, mas eu tô pensando nela. Tô pensando no cinturão, não tá sendo nada. Depois dessa luta, eu, eu penso que eu faço, mas eu tô focado nessa luta 100%. Well, I think certainly this uh, is a marquee fight for me, a very important fight. Dan Henderson is a legend in MMA, he was champion in Pride, champion in the UFC. He's a guy with a big history in the sport. Uh, and this fight means, obviously, means a lot to me, uh, but I'm not thinking right now about fighting for the belt or what will come next. Uh, I'll only think about that after this fight. Right now, my, my whole focus is on the fight with Dan Henderson. All right. And, and one question for Vanderlei. Uh, Vanderlei, after your last fight, I know Dana White had kind of mentioned that he wasn't sure if he'd come back or what your future holds. Uh, did, did you at any point in your own head ever consider retirement, or did you always have it in mind you were going to come back? No, of course. I, I never give up, no. I, I, fight in, I, still, I fight for 10 years of my life right now. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. I make all tests with the doctors and the... I'm so good, I'm so in, in great condition, and I'm gonna pull it there come Saturday. Awesome, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. All right, great, thank you very much. Now moving on, we'll take a question from Sergio Nott with USA Today. Question for uh, Dan Henderson and uh, Kung Lee. I'm wondering, uh, you know, given that both of you are coming uh, from Strike Force, if you see this event at all in the survey of validation of the talent pool that was in Strike Force, uh, first Dan and then Kung. <coughs> Uh, I don't know if I, you know, would go that far as to say that. I think, uh, you know, obviously I, I'd like to represent Strike Force while being your champion, but, you know, first and foremost, I just need to represent, uh, you know, myself and what I've done in my career. And, and you know, I don't feel any pressure to, to perform because of, uh, coming from strike force at all. I, I think it's yeah, I think it's pretty much uh 
the consensus that Shark Force had some 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 top fighters in there and, and top champions in there and, and you know uh, I'm not worried about losing anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually with Dan. Uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm just excited to be part of uh, uh, the fight card with uh, you know Dan Henderson and Sogan being the main event and. For, for me to fight Stanley Silva, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not worried about anything else, but uh, this, uh, this fight. Okay, and uh, one question for uh, Vanderlei. Um, I'm wondering, uh, do you see this fight at all as sort of a, uh, a do or die type thing? Like, uh, is it, if you lose this fight, do, uh, would this be it for you? No, 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 no. I don't have it. I don't have it in my mind. I, I think my performance is. Uh, gonna make me fight my gun. Alright, great, right, thank you. Alright, thank you. Now, we'll go to Steve Morocco with MMAJunkie.com. Hi, can everybody hear me? Hey, Steven, once again, um, <laughs> we all love you, buddy, but it's not like you're down and from uh, under the ocean. <laughs> It looks like his line did just drop, so we'll move on to Elliot Lachansky with UltimateFighter.com. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the first question is, uh, is for Dan, and that is, with, uh, with everything that, uh, that you've accomplished in your career to this point, is there anything in particular that you feel you need out of this, uh, this run in the UFC to kind of complete your career? I know you've heard that before. 
Um, is that something you take a lot of pride in, that you've never been knocked out in any of your losses, or do you look at it as a, a loss is a loss regardless of how it came? Um, yeah, I mean, a loss is a loss. I mean, I, um, I, I guess I can get knocked out just like anybody else. I've been lucky enough not to get hit on the button, I guess, um, during my fights. But I, uh, you know, I, I, I really, uh, you know, good luck to him on that one. All right. And if I can ask one uh, question for Vandalay. Uh, after your last fight, Dana suggested that it might have been your last um, fight for the UFC. Uh, was, I know that you had in your mind that you wanted to continue, but was there ever a conversation that you had to have with Dana to try to convince him that you could keep going? Well, I think he, I think he, I, I have a lot of fun to work and my fans want to watch my fight and, uh, well, what has happened in the last fights it can happen with everybody, you know, like, uh, in the first two minutes everybody's strong, one punch, finish the fight. Now you can, you can tell, like, I gave the last in Grove Tiger and I'll put the last in one minute, you know? This, this can happen with everybody. Now I think you won't fight, you know, can, you no know, can, no can tell all about the fight, you know? Uh, I, I know that I'm gonna fight again, like, again, 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 again. Okay, thank you. All right, right, thanks very much. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, that's star one. If you'd like to show up to ask a question, again, that's star one. All right, moving on, we'll go next to Leif Knudsen with Fox News Minneapolis. Hi there, this is Leif Knudsen. Uh, question for Tom. Um, I know you fight very infrequently with your uh, movie career and everything, you know, maybe once a year, maybe less even. Um, is there any stipulations in your contract with the UFC that you have to fight a certain amount of fights per year? No, there's not. Um, uh, you know, so uh, that, that's why I signed the contract because I'm, you know, I'm definitely I got a dual, you know, a career with uh, fighting and doing movies. So just, uh, I'm just happy to be fighting um, this weekend. So I'm very excited. Sure, and um, Dana doesn't typically have a ranking system. You know, if someone has a very impressive performance against a formidable opponent, you can jump up into title contention. I mean, so maybe with one or two uh, impressive victories or knockouts as you know, you've had in your career, uh, he may mention throwing you in against, you know, even Spider, which is a dream matchup for everybody. Is that something that weighs in your mind going into this fight, or...? No, actually, not at all. This, this is a great matchup between myself and Vanley. So I think, uh, you know, Vanley comes to fight. I come to fight, and we're going to have a, a really good fight come uh, Saturday. So uh, this, this is a this is a good uh, and uh, you know fight to watch. Actually, the whole card, you know, every fight on this card is exciting. So uh, you know, it, it's going to be it, it, it's going to be a great card for all fans to watch. Exactly. Okay, and Hendo, you uh, mentioned, you've been talking recently about facing John Bones Jones. Uh, I don't know that anybody's called him out. Him and Rashad have had back and forth, but Jones apparently fired the first bullet. Um, you clearly fear no man, but uh, what do you what do you see in this game that uh, you think you you could expose? Uh, yeah, I really haven't given a whole lot of thought to that uh, since I've been matched up with, with Shogun. I you know, that's been my, my focus, and, and uh, yeah, I mean, Jones is, is very uh, unorthodox, and it would be a fun type of fight for me, but, yeah, I haven't really given it a whole lot of thought as far as the game plan or anything else yet, uh, I'm really focused on this fight, and, and none of that can happen if I don't uh, have a good fight on Saturday. Yeah, it's a dream matchup with Joe Gunn here, can't wait to see it, good luck to all you fighters. Thank you. Thank you, Neville. Now we'll go to Dave Meltzer with the Yahoo Sports. Uh, yes, for, for Con, um, what, what schedule as far as like movies do you have, and when was the last, and how long, how long have you been able to train for this fight, and do you have a window for a while, or, or is this kind of like you're going to fight, and then you know you're going to a movie pretty soon? Well, actually, um, I'm, uh, you know, the, the last time I came off a movie set was at the end of February, and then we'll you know, I got back and I took a, like a week or two off and then I was back in the gym, you know, every day training, you know, till now. So, um, um, right now 
now it's just uh, all my focus on is on Vanille and you know um, whatever uh, movies that have this lined up or is this my manager taking care of that? So I'm just focused on this fight right now. And uh, you know then I'll, I'll I'll sit down with my team afterwards and see what's going on. But right now uh, it's uh, Vanille Silva.
an opportunity. I could fight in the UFC, and and uh, it actually happened. So um, I'm grateful that it did, and now I'm able to fight my first UFC against a legend like uh, Natalie, and I'm excited. I'm, 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 you know, it's been really hard for this fight. Like I always do on um, every fight, but you know, it's, it's, it's exciting to be matched up, and you know, so with someone like Natalie. So I'm excited. Does it mean something different for you to fight, you know, under the UFC banner as opposed to Strike Force? Obviously, you've had a, a decorated career up until now, anyway. But uh, does it mean something different for you now to, to, to be fighting for the UFC? Well, of course, you know, UFC is uh, top of the food chain, and uh, um, they're they're the ones who's really put MMA on the map. And you know, it's uh, it's always exciting to fight for a different league. That it's like you know, going from the CSL to the NSL. So that's how I see it. Okay, very good. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right, great. Thank you very much. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, that's Star One. If you'd like to queue up to ask a question at this time, again, that's Star One. And we'll go back to Stephen Morocco with MMAJunkie.com. Hey, uh, calling in from 50,000 Leagues. Uh, quick question for Dan. Um, Dan, do you think that the way that things transpired, um, you know, going back to Strike Force, uh, going to Strike Force and coming back to the UFC. Do you think that your relationship with uh, the UFC is somewhat unique? A lot, a lot of guys aren't able to do that. You guys, you sort of went to Strike Force and came back. Do you think your relationship is unique? Um, well, they, a lot of guys weren't in the situation I was in as far as uh, already having a, an established career and and, and uh, you know, just uh, having a, a, the timing work out to where my contract was over at a pretty highlight part of my career. And, and uh, you know, I think I was just fortunate enough to do that. And, and I, again, I don't, uh, I don't burn bridges, and I had no heart feelings or, or didn't take anything personal that uh, they didn't offer me enough money or try to keep me way I thought they should have. It was nothing like that at all. I just felt that, uh, you know, I thought I was worth more and, and that I was going to explore other options, and, and I did. And, and I know this has been touched on a little bit earlier, but about which weight class you're going to fight in, but do you still feel the same that, like, there's really only one opportunity you want at uh, middleweight, and then, you know, the rest of your career is going to be at light heavyweight? Um... Yeah, I mean everything's kind of up in the air right now. I'm not, I'm not concerned about it, but I'm also not. Uh, I'm never enthused about cutting weight. So, you know, it is what it is. I think uh, if I, if I have to cut weight, there would be only one matchup right now that I would do that for. But you know, uh, things change with different fights and, and opportunities. So, you know, I'm not ruling anything out at all. I'm, I'm, I'm open to uh, doing whatever. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, great. Thank you. Now we'll, we'll, we'll uh, move on to Maurice Udeo with you, OL. I'll ask him for a few questions. Mr. Shogun, é muito bom, cara. É, queria saber um pouquinho da sua preparação, né? Você não continuou o trabalho que você fez pro, pro UFC Rio, que tinha sido com o Rafael Cordeiro. Queria que você comentasse um pouco de como foi diferente é, aquele camp para eles. Então, o UFC Rio eu fiquei em Los Angeles dois meses e meio e para o Forrest. Na luta dos Varrenas, são um anejo que minha equipe acho que vai ficar no Brasil. Até porque eu acho que essa luta é uma coisa muito importante, é a parte de estratégia, então eu prefiro ficar, prefiro ficar no Brasil e treinar um treinamento mais secreto, mais isolado assim. Então foi essa grande motivação de ficar no Brasil para essa luta. Para mim? É, posso perguntar então, tu, perguntar para o Vanderlei. É, Vanderlei, eu queria que você comentasse o que, que você aprendeu com a última luta ali. Com, contra o Liben, é, é, é aquela derrota inesperada, né, rápida, é, faz você mudar um pouco como você vê a próxima luta, talvez ser um pouco mais paciente. Isso, 
acho que vou ter, um, vou ter que lutar de uma maneira um pouco mais defensiva e, e, e levar essa luta aí pro. pro é que luta é luta, luta tudo pode acontecer. É, cada lutador que você luta é, tem um estilo diferente. Tem que ser lutador bom, agora tem um estilo totalmente diferente do outro atleta que competir. Então eu estou com o jogo preparado todo para o próximo adversário. Eu espero poder fazer uma, uma boa performance para todo mundo aí. Obrigado. Uh, you know, I, 
this is a great matchup for the fans, you know, striker versus striker. Uh, I definitely uh, think there's going to be some fireworks, and I mean, there's so many great fights on the card. You know, it's, it's you know, it, it's, it's going to be like a, like an all star game. Definitely, definitely. Well, thanks so much, guys, and best of luck to all you guys on Saturday night. I appreciate the time. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to turn the conference back over to Mr. Dave Schaller. Thanks, Dave, and I want to say thank you to all the media who joined the call today. It was a great turnout. We do appreciate it. A special thanks to Shogun Hua, Eduardo Alonso, Dan Henderson, Vanderlei Silva, and Kung Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, today, just a quick reminder for those of you traveling to San Jose, we have our media workouts from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific at Heroes Gym. And then tomorrow, we have our workout, or excuse me, our uh, press conference in San Francisco. That will be at the Fort Mason Center starting at 1 o'clock. Again, thanks to everybody who tuned in for today's call, and we will see you in San Jose today for an open workout. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Dave. Thanks very much. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, that is today's conference.